Thinglink is a web app that allows you to create interactive images like this. To get started, go to www.thinglink.com and select the Students and Teachers Get Started Here link. You can either create a username and password or you can sign in with your Google account and accept terms of use. You will be prompted to enter an invite code, but just leave this blank and choose Done. Choose the red Create button to get started. The first step in creating a thing link is to select the image you will annotate and add interactive elements to. You can choose an image from your computer or one that already lives online, but it is critical to choose an image that is large enough to provide enough detail and not pixelate when you are viewing your project full screen. I will use Google's image searching tools to help me locate a higher resolution image. When selecting an image, you can simply choose a literal representation. For example, if I were reporting on a NASA Explorer mission, I could choose a picture of the launch or a similar picture that was taken during the mission. That would make a lot of sense. However, also consider selecting an image that is more of a metaphor for your topic. For example, if your topic involved many obstacles or unknowns, you might select an image like this. Or if you're trying to communicate ideas, maybe something like this. And an abstract background like this can communicate a variety of themes from connections to thinking to many other ideas. Whether you elect for a literal or a metaphorical image, you will need to select the search tools on Google Images and filter the size of your search results to return only large images or images larger than 640 pixels. This will narrow your search to images large enough to serve as a good background. Once you've selected an image to get it into ThingLink, you need to select the image and choose View Image. Once you can see your image full screen, copy the link at the top of the page. Now let's head back over to ThingLink and select the Web option. Paste in the link and then choose Tag This Media. This is the ThingLink editor. Title your image something you will remember. You can use the zoom tools on the right to zoom in and out of your image or to fit it to the window. You can add tags by clicking anywhere on your image. This sample presentation I'm about to do is not based on any actual mission, but I'm going to say that this mission had a technology connection to the first successful rocket launches in the 1920s. I have found an image of that. So I will copy the URL by right clicking. and I will add that to my tag. In the text area of my tag, I will enter the details related to the event. You are limited to simple text editing, but you can alter the appearance of your icon. When you're done, save your tag. Now I want to add some multimedia content and I can search for that right here. I'm going to pretend that this mission had a connection to the movie Armageddon, and we'll search that here. From my list of results, I can select my media, and this will create a new tag for me, and I can add details and explanation from here. I'm going to save and preview my ThingLink by choosing the green Save Image button. Sometimes ThingLink may need some time to process your images, so you will need to refresh your screen. After you are done previewing, use the Edit option to return to editing mode. You can move tags by clicking and dragging them, and you can select a tag if you need to edit or make any changes to it. Another way to add videos is to search in a separate tab with Clean Video. ThingLink won't recognize a Clean Video link, but if you right-click on the corner of the video preview, where it says YouTube, and choose Copy Video URL, you can return to ThingLink and paste that in the link or image address section of the tag editor. You probably don't want to show all of your videos, especially if they are really long like this one. So you may want to note the viewing times in your tags also. 
So far, I've added an image or a video to all of my tags, but tags don't have to have an image or video. They can simply be informational too. And hyperlinks can be added to tags, which is a great way to cite your sources. When you are ready to turn in your project, adjust your sharing settings. Right now, my image is public, which is fine, but I can change that to unlisted if I like. And then save your image again. Click the share button. In many cases, your teacher will ask you to submit the link to your project, either in Schoology or maybe through a Google form. Simply copy the URL link to submit it to your teacher. Or you can capture the embed code right here if you plan to insert it on a website or in another tool. Thing link gives you a very visual way to present information on the topic, so choose your images, multimedia carefully, and of course, make sure to include excellent textual support and evidence as well.